Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Um, so my hair looks crazy because uh, I need to braid it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today in this video. But instead of you just watching me braid my hair and it be really boring, I came up with 50 things. I'm like trying to put the 50 things up. Today has been a very busy day. So um, I came up with 50 things to Sarah. I came up with 50 things that you might not know about me. So, while I am braiding my hair, let's talk about 50 things you don't know about me. Shall we? So an hour and a huge mess later, I have parted all of my hair, which I think will be very helpful. It's kind of cute, I should leave it like this what is that girl's name off of um rugrats angelica i kind of look like angelica right now okay so anyway <laughs> um so yeah let's get started braiding my arms are so sore oh my god from my workout yesterday which will be either i don't know what video either you already saw it or um it'll be thursday Depending on what you guys vote, if you don't already follow me on IG, go follow me because I always do polls on there. Um, and yeah, so let's get started on these braids. Oh my god, I have so much hair. This is actually ridiculous. But I'm happy that I parted all of it, so now I won't have to do that later. Alright. So we've got one, two three four in the back and then my plan this time I think I'm going to make the braids shorter like significantly shorter I don't know if I want to do it like that my hair all day all right so the whole point of this video is so that I can tell you guys um 50 things that you might not know about me so the first one they're kind of lame <laughs> So don't expect like, wow, she's like the coolest person ever. So anyways, I'm from Michigan. I feel like I always tell people I, I'm, I live in Ohio right now, but I'm from Michigan. So if you're looking at Michigan like this, I always show people on the mitt because it's easy because that's what the state looks like. If you're unaware of what Michigan looks like, it looks like this. We're up by Canada. So it looks like this and I'm from a little town that's like right here and it's called Monroe. See, I told you, super interesting. <laughs> All right, so my next fact about me is I was born in November, which makes me a Scorpio. My birthday is November 6th, and I am, so my birthday's coming up, actually, and I am 26 currently. This is shedding quite a bit here. Okay, next. <laughs> this one's kind of weird. So when I was younger, I never would go to the bathroom at school. I would always wait until I got home to go to the bathroom, so I would hold it all day. My poor little bladder. Okay, next. I need some gel on the ends of this hair. I think I made this section a little too small. And I need my brush. Alright. Next, um, fun fact. Well, I think it's a fun fact because I think it's cool. Um, I went to Montessori school. Um, that was fun. And, yeah, this is like way too small. Redo. Um, I skipped a grade. So I skipped, I, don't, I think it was kindergarten, I'm not really sure, and I, yeah, that's got, it's got to be kindergarten. So I skipped kindergarten, and I went straight to, um, first grade at this Montessori that I went to, and then, um, when I switched schools, they put me back in first grade, so I guess technically I didn't really skip anything, because I only had half a year of first grade, and they were like, mm, we don't know about that, so they put me back in first grade again 
So technically, I did like a year and some change of first grade. Oh, I'm obsessed with dogs, if you don't already know that about me. And we've always had miniature schnauzers, and now I'm obsessed with giant schnauzers. So, that's like my new thing. I'm like always looking at videos of them. I think I follow every schnauzer account on IG. So, I definitely want to get a two, not a two. I said three, my sister was like, that's too many. And that's an odd number, and they're humongous. So, I definitely want at least three, or two, excuse me, giant schnauzers. So, I think I already said this, but I went to school in Ohio pretty much my entire life. Um, so, the Montessori school I went to, and then like half of first grade was in Michigan. And then, so from first grade, like my full year of first grade, all the way pretty until college, I went to school in Ohio. Um... <laughs> this is a random one, but I taught my brother how to tie his shoes. And I am two years younger than my brother. For those that don't know us. Um, <laughs> this is really random. So I grew... One of, one of my little facts is I'm not five feet tall. I'm 4'11". Um, and I've measured that multiple times. I'm not five feet tall. Um... And I grew before everyone else in school, so that's kind of funny to me. This is kind of what I wanted. I hope this like doesn't look weird when I'm done. I don't know how I feel about this little short guy. Mm, I'm not really a fan. Mm, we'll see. I thought I wanted short braids, but like that kind of looks funny to me. So, uh, that's probably not going to stay like that. Okay, next. Oh, my first pets were guinea pigs. And their names were Brownie and Fudge. They were huge. Like, I feel like they were, like, oddly large guinea pigs. Um, and they were, one of them was, like, chocolatey brown. Like, so pretty. And the other one was black. These are such random things that I thought of to tell you guys. But it's like trying to figure out like something interesting versus and then like something that like people wouldn't know. It's not as easy as it sounds. Okay, so like I said, school was like in Ohio and I lived in Michigan, so the school ride was always thirty minutes for me, which is so nice. Um, because that meant, like, I got a nap twice a day. <laughs> I'm such a small child and need a large amount of rest, which I'm not ashamed to say at all. Because I hope this is, like, entertaining for somebody, because, like, <laughs> <laughs> while I just braid my hair. Alright. Um, favorite food when I was a kid was, like, was candy. Um, so I had, like, honestly, I had... I have over 15 cavities, like it's embarrassing, but like that's literally all I ate. That's all I wanted, that's all I cared about. Bad. And I had braces twice too, like, and then I got glasses, like it's just a mess. A mess. <laughs> it was a mess. Um. Oh. <laughs> Something that people don't know about me, I want Botox in my forehead. I always hold my hold my face like this, see, like this, always. Just like my natural state is just up like this. <laughs> and um, it's made wrinkles in my forehead and I'm not a fan of them. So, I would like to get lay Botox. Ugh, I don't want them like dumb long. I used to eat raw sugar like by itself like my mom she would say like I'll go to her and be like when's dinner gonna be done and she'd be like oh it's not ready yet uh, I don't know she's 10 minutes or something and I'll be like go get some candy or whatever and then like the sweetness would leave the gum cuz it's like that cheap like little bubble gum stuff and I would put sugar First off, I'd open the little cabinet where the sugar was and like 
spread out the gum <laughs> this is gross spread out the gum like on the counter and then pour like raw white sugar inside the gum and like fold my gum back up into like a little pocket and put it back in my mouth like that's disgusting <laughs> Another fun fact, this is not fun facts, this is things you don't know about me. I was a competitive gymnast, I did gymnastics for 14 years and I probably competed for like 7 or 8 of those years. <laughs> when I got my license, my favorite fast food place was Wendy's. And if you ask anyone today, that's still my favorite place to get french fries. I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but I just love their fries those and sonic tater tots are a one right next <laughs> favorite food back then was also at wendy's it was their baconator which is so funny they like still had that it's still going strong that was like my favorite thing to eat and if you ask my brother he's like sarah's had more baconators than anybody I know and I'm like chill that was like so many years ago and yes I'm vegan now so I have not had a baconator and I don't know how long you guys might know this if you watched my first video about my weight loss like I used to be on Weight Watchers and I didn't lift one single weight didn't go to the gym at all and I lost 30 pounds I wouldn't suggest doing it that way <laughs> Oh, I feel like people may or may not know this. It depends on who my subscribers are. Um, I went to an all-girls high school and I loved it. Um, well, I got to wear a cute little uniform. I loved it. Um, speaking of school, I really want to go to Ohio State. That's where my sister went. And I didn't get in, unfortunately. Um, but I went to Xavier University in Cincinnati and I ended up loving it. I was raw vegan for like 12 months. 12 months? Relax. Two months. So when I first um, went vegan, I like, when I first like found veganism, um, I found fully raw Christina first. And I was like, oh my god, I have to do this. This is going to save my stomach. And ultimately, it did. It ended up saving my stomach. But... Um, then I went to like vegetarian and then back to vegan, but ultimately like when I first went vegan and like first like figured out my stomach issues and like got my life together, I was raw vegan for like two months and like really intense about it. Like I'm only going to eat avocados and lettuce today, two bags of grapes for like one meal and like seven bananas, but like honestly it like really healed my stomach like I was so happy with the way that my stomach felt after being in so much pain so shout out to raw veganism and the raw vegans out there I should make like a raw vegan video of like what I ate when I was raw vegan comment below if you want to see that I feel like this is so scattered because it's like 50 things that you may or may not know about me so sorry if it seems like all over the place but i think that's like the point of the video what did i do with my brush oh here it is so i hate when people say they're gonna do something and don't do it that like drives me bonkers this is gonna sound really weird but like i love being sore i don't know what it is because like that like you're like oh i you know you finish a workout and you're like oh i know that was a good workout and then you wake up and like you think everything's fine and like you go to do something you're like you know we all know that feeling mm -hmm. let's see <laughs> uh the next thing is i could sleep all day if it were socially acceptable like i don't know what it is i sleep like a newborn infant like i require tons of sleep it's kind of ridiculous but Oh, so speaking of sleeping all the time, so I have like two modes in my life, turbo and off. So I'm like usually in go mode, like running around, doing this and doing that and like drive people crazy. 
especially my poor mother my god i like before i come home i like come up with this huge list of things to do and my poor sister um i'm like okay i want to skateboard in the park and let's go cook all these seven meals and then let's drive up north and go camping and then come back home and I don't know climb a mountain like I just have a million things I want to do in life and I'm either doing a million things or I'm sleeping there's usually no in between which I like because I go crazy if I have nothing to do um, if I could pick a vegan meal to eat all the time it would be I don't know if you guys have have blaze pizza where you're from but I would definitely be eating Blaze pizza all the time and french fries. Like that pizza is gives me life. Jeez, who was walking like that? So I would have pizza, french fries from Wendy's probably, or Sonic Tater Tots. And whoa. And mac and cheese. So bomb. All the carbs. I'm obsessed. Okay, so if I had to pick a non, my brother asked me this all the time, like if I had to pick a non-vegan food to eat, like what would it be? I feel like I was like really trying to think of stuff that like I couldn't make vegan, like would that be my favorite food? Like stuff like steak, like there's no vegan steak. Well, I mean we're not a watermelon, but like you know what I mean. Um, like would it be that? But like I don't miss steak. And that was never my favorite food, so I'm gonna say like I would still have like the same foods that are my favorite now, but I just eat them vegan. Like I feel like I'm not missing out on anything, you know. So if it was non-vegan food that I was eating, it'd still be pizza <laughs> and French fries. I'm so basic on that in that regard, or like smoothies. I'm obsessed with those, but like you don't need dairy to make a smoothie, so. Maybe I'm just too far into my vegan journey that like I can't really remember. Who knows? But I would still eat the same things. Oh, I adopted a dog in college. Um, he was like my best friend ever. Unfortunately, he passed away while I was here at school. Um, he lived with my sister and he had cancer, like really, really bad cancer. And he passed away while I was gone. But yeah, I adopted him and he was like the best dog ever and of course he was a schnauzer so that's what i will be getting again and i can't wait oh and his name was gus i'll insert a picture because he's like the cutest little thing ever <laughs> my friends always make fun of me for this one but i love plain pasta and plain rice like give me a bowl of well, white rice just like by itself and i'll tear it up like plain white rice and like plain pasta so I used to have that all the time when I first came to um, to school here and one of my friends to this day calls me white rice <laughs> because that's just what I would eat I would just eat white rice by itself it's probably why I gained 30 pounds um. <laughs> this is kind of funny and stupid um, I was afraid, like, when um, when I was younger, I would always go to hibachi, like, the that big grill, and they, like, cook up all your food together, and, like, you know, they always, like, play too much, like, with the fire, they always play too much, and they're, like, here, catch this, or, like, here, do this, do that, and I was, like, back then, I always had, like, a weave in my hair, and I was, like, watch, they're gonna play too much one day, and, like, light my damn weave on fire, like, that was, like, one of my biggest fears for real and like why is that one of my biggest fears well because we used to go there like all the time and so I was like okay one of these days one of these chefs is gonna get a little too cocky here and throw that little onion on the top too far like how embarrassing would that be like your hair just catches on fire oh in high school so when I finished doing gymnastics cuz I I stopped doing gymnastics when I was like 16. I still wanted to like be super active so I started dancing competitively and while I was there I was also a teacher so I taught little children. I don't want to say 
I don't want to say girls because I believe there was boys in my classes. I can't really remember. It, I want to say I had three classes of my own. And then we did like a little show at the mall for like all the kids. And um, I had to stand up in the front and like try to see show them like what they were doing but they did really well I was so proud of them that was a proud proud teacher moment for me <laughs> okay so speaking of like dance gymnastics stuff like that so like I have never been like a fan of cheerleaders like I don't know what it is like maybe it's because like when they would come in our gym like they would just be so reckless like no, this is like no offense to like cheerleaders. Sorry if I offend you. Um, but like they would just be so re re reckless with like their tumbling. They'd just be like, yo, just chuck it. Like, don't, oh my god, don't do that. Like, you're gonna fall and break your neck. So I was always like so anti cheerleading. So when I went to St. Ursula, like this opened up like a whole new world. There was like guy school and they had football teams. And I was like, oh. And. <laughs> There was like one of my good friends was a cheerleader for the guy school one of the guy schools and she's like yeah like this is how i meet people like it's a lot of fun and so she was a cheerleader for them and i was like oh you know what let me try and girl i tried out i i think trials were like three days or something i went for the first day and never went back i just i don't know my brain could not like wrap around these like weird like oh my god my arms <laughs> these like I don't know what my body was like. No. <laughs> I like feel like I'm jumping all around in like my um my life, I guess you could say, but I used to be like the biggest tattletale ever. Like I asked my brother like anything that he did, like I would be the first one to be like, Ooh, Sean did that, like that was not me that was definitely Sean like my parents like got to the point where like my parents like just come to me and be like like they wouldn't even ask him because I knew like he was gonna lie about it and so they would come to me like Sarah what really happened like before like they, they didn't even give him a chance to explain oh speaking of hair when I was younger I was like something else when I was younger like for anybody that like was putting up with me back then like I'm sorry so sorry um so I used to get like bundles of weave and you know how people like wash them and then reuse them right cuz it's like it's like extensions like you don't just like get new extensions every time you get your hair done right whoa well I would throw mine away like throw away bundles like a hundred and twenty five something dollar per bundle I would just throw them away so like after I would have my weave in I would just take the bundle down and throw them away instead of just washing them like what was wrong with me my goodness I feel like this is going way faster because I parted everything first even though that took forever and like was really frustrating because I feel like I couldn't part anything straight. Oh, this is a weird one that people probably won't know about me. We're like going real fast on this list. I'm gonna have to like stop at like 40 and then come back like when my hair is like kind of almost done. But um, so what was I gonna say? Oh, I have a geographic tongue, like, which is, like, something I kind of don't really, I feel like no one knows that because it's, like, looks really weird, like, looks like something's wrong with my tongue, and I'm not going to stick out my tongue right now, but, like, it just basically just peels, so you can Google it, I'm not going to stick out my tongue. <laughs> I wanted to see if it was peeling. Sorry if there's any guys watching this, but I haven't used a tampon in like two years. If you haven't used a diva cup, if you don't know what a menstrual cup is at all, um, you should Google it and buy one off Amazon. Or they even have them in the grocery store now. Get you a diva cup. It will change your life in the most magical way. Um, I haven't eaten meat in like six years, which I think most people know. I've been vegan for four and stopped eating meat like well before that I was still eating dairy um but meat yeah meat has not been in my life for a minute now 
<laughs> this one's funny so I'll stop here and then I'll do um, the other 10 when I get a little bit further along in my hair but um, so this piercing right there in my ear <laughs> I passed out when I got that piercing done so it's actually a funny story <laughs> I think it's funny <laughs> So, um, we go get our piercings done. It's like me, my sister, and my mom. And my sister was getting, like, I think she has, like, a piercing, like, right here, but she doesn't have it anymore. And, um, so we all went together. And so, like, I go first. And they, like, do the piercing or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, mine's done. And I'm like, ah. I didn't, I don't think I said it out loud. I was like, ah, I don't really feel good, like, in my head. I don't think I said it. Because they probably wouldn't have let me walk out if I, if I said that out loud. So I was like, I'm going to go get some air. And they were like, yeah, okay. So I go outside to get air. And it's like right outside. It's like right on the street, like a busy road. Like, I don't know why I did that. So I like go out there and like, I was like, oh God, I don't feel good. So I like turn around to go back inside. And like, as I'm coming back inside, my sister's like joking with me. And she's like, um, don't fall. And like grabs me, like right here like this and like she's joking and as soon as she grabs me I like passed out like immediately and like I slipped like through her hand and she like caught me like right before I hit the ground yeah my pain tolerance is like zero it's not good so the piercing is really cute and now I'll never ever ever take it out because who is going through that again? Alright, so I will come back with the last 10 when my hair is almost done. Hi. Okay, so I almost forgot. It's dark outside. It's 7.30 now and I only have one little guy left. So let's finish this list up quickly. Um, I think the last thing I said was... I haven't eaten meat. No, I passed out. <laughs> I passed out while getting... Okay, okay. I passed out while getting this piercing. <laughs> Funny story. All right. Um, next thing, I was on birth control. Sorry, also for the guys that are maybe watching this. I was on birth control for like, I don't even know how many years. I started it when I was like 13 or something, 14. And just recently stopped taking it like a couple of years ago because my cramps were like debilitating like I could not get up off the floor like I couldn't do anything um I did not go vegan for the animals that sounds really bad but we're just keeping it real that's the truth um this is such an odd thing I'm not even gonna say that one hopefully we have 50 um I rode a camel in Africa um, so a lot of you know that I am in school right now and I'm in Grand Cayman for school and this was not the first time that I've been here so I, we used to come here all the time when I was little and so yeah I've been here like I don't even know a handful of times maybe like 10 ish so I didn't just like come here randomly um I went on a Mediterranean cruise as a gift for high school graduation. Um, I flew to Vegas for my last day of high school. This is like turning into like some weird thing so I was like running out of things to say. So these are just like random facts about my life. Sorry, I'm not that interesting. Um, my first tattoo I got is my last name Ooh, comment below if you want to see all my tattoos i have six and hear the story behind all of them um i want to live in hawaii i don't know if people know that um i love doing laundry like love 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 doing laundry i don't know what it is um i'm like the meanest person ever when i'm hungry or when i'm tired and then when I'm both, like, it's just, it's just not pretty. So we don't let that happen often. <laughs> um, 
Oh, and then last but not least, I really hope this is 50 because that would be really awkward if it wasn't. Um, I can fall asleep anywhere. And by anywhere, I literally mean anywhere. I fell asleep. My sister, I was talking to her about it, um, about this list before I started the video. And she was like, yeah, that one time you fell asleep on a boat. And I was like, or that one time I fell asleep in a hot air balloon or like in the student union at school. So, yeah, I can literally fall asleep anywhere. I think it's like one of my gifts. So I think that's 50-ish random things about me that maybe you didn't know. I um, hope you enjoyed the get to know me as I'm braiding my hair. I'm so happy that braiding my hair adventure is over. I hate doing this. Fun fact about me. I love doing my hair because I don't have to pay somebody to do it, but I hate it. Like I love that I'm like capable enough to do it, but like I do not enjoy it at all ever so I will come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done and I after I dip it in hot water all right don't judge my disaster of a room right now but these are my braids they look like exactly the same as I always do I feel like some of them are like kind of chunky and large in the back because guess who's getting lazy but I figured out that it takes less time the way that I did it this time with regards to like going through and parting everything first and then going back and braiding it so that is a time saver if you're looking for one because who's trying to braid their hair all day so thank you for watching my video hopefully you like my little random facts about myself um yeah so if you haven't already subscribed comment like share and I'll see you in my next video these are the braids in the back